Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to add our form. So we are going to use a package called WeForm to create our form. This is the project on GitHub. This is very nice. As they say, this is uh, a simple way to handle Laravel backend validation in view. The thing is, this uh, package for view and Laravel help you do the validation from server side easily. Something like this. You send an AJAX request. You get if you have any validation by Laravel, then it, you can display them uh, in the form like that. So this is the package we are going to use. So if you are curious about how this package is built or how this is going to work, of course, I will show you every details of this package. This is very simple, not too much complex to do. But the thing is, if you want to know how this package was built, or uh, you can just go and watch uh, some of the Jeffrey ways video on Laracus here is the object oriented form 1 17 minutes then it is only 13 minutes all of them are free he um, I think he built that um, in this series and this is the same as he is building but this one is a package that one is not a back package for view so this is how it is going to do it. even if I was recording the video it would take one hour to explain everything in detail so that's why this is ready we are going to use this one so let's see how we are going to implement this. First of all, let's install it. The thing is like simple. This is going to help us doing the validation, but all the other stuff we will do by ourselves. I will come here and install it for now. Going to the bash to yes here. Entering. So it will take a few seconds to install. Uh, what I'm going to do is just going to this, their website and see their examples. They said that if you submit a form to the login with a login function, they are going to submit. If you have any error, has an error, it will just display it. Of course, the error would be there and there. Then the server, we are going to use Laravel to do the handling for the validation. And they have the nice API. If this is busy, if it is successful, if it has an error, uh, you can just send different types of HTTP requests. You can clear your form. You can reset your form. You can fill the data, something like that. So why it gave us an error? Did we change anything? No, we didn't. So we just wait for this one to install. Then we will do all the stuff. So this is installed now. Let's see how we are going to use this in our project. So basically all you need to do is just add this line of code after uh, you have your view. I will explain you import the forum the has error has alert from v4 the package we just installed that is all you need to do next up coming down here you register a global component the global component means if you register something as global you have access it in every place in your uh, let's say in your application now the has error you have access it everywhere we can register the win the form as well to the window as we we do it like this so what I'm going to do is writing window dot form is equal to form because we import the form here this is going to be this form and this form is let's give it small form like that now in every place of our application we have access to the form I will save it this time let's see if yeah we don't have any error this is fine now we have two other components with the form that's it for the configuration and now we can start using it in our user com component here you know every single component should return data right so what we are going to do is writing data and the data is going, going to be something like function and it is going to return something okay it is a function and it is going to return an object something like this so now inside the object okay let me put a comma here inside this one let's say we have a form which is going to be new instance of the form or form <laughs> this is this form is going to be the instance of this form that's why i registered that globally it means everywhere we can access it so i'll save here and from that way you know the class name should be always uh, starting with capital so this is the new instance and inside this one you can pass all the parameters you need for example, you need uh, input for the username, password, email, something like that. So if I come to the documentation, this is, yeah. You have a form, you name up the form. Because they have all everything in one component, they do need to register in the window. 
since we are using separate components we have to register so that we can have access to the form everywhere that's why for username password you have to write them like this this is going to help us doing the two-way model binding if you are entering something in the form it will automatically update here so uh, going on our table in the database table here we know how many fields we need right so we need a name we need one for email password type bio photo all right that's fine so what i can do is i can come here and say we have something for name for now okay we have a name for now it is empty and we have a uh, what else i will just pause the video and write everything we need yeah this is all we need and i'll save it let's see if it is not going to give us any error yeah we don't have any error now what we can do is we can uh, come inside the model and create our form here you know we can use the bootstrap design form so i will just quickly go to the their website let's say get bootstrap.com documentation uh, of course the form i can just write it one of them as an example then we can just duplicate them for other forms so you know if you have a input for the user all you need to do is put them in the form group and place them in something like that this is going to be bootstrap 4 of course if you are using bootstrap version 3 it is going to be different if you are going to use in any other projects so i'll put it here this is the username or i think we do not need the label what i'm do going to do is i am going to use placeholder for this one this is going to stop here this is not username this is a name for and the name is going to be name for this one and then if it has a name if you look at the example here they say v model which refer to the forum dot name if i come down just a little bit you are in the forum dot name it means if you change if you write anything inside this input this data will change here so this is the two-way model binding that's why we write form dot name which is type of text name is name and then you have the valid class everything like that and of course let me hide the sidebar so this is the the conditional class they have if you if this is valid they will just uh put an error here if you have a field of let me say name here so this is for name for now and let's add one more for placeholder name and let's see how it is going to look in the view so click on this one we don't have it yet yeah it took a little time to refresh okay yes we have the name here the name field now let me show you how it is going to work like to a model binding we don't have any error you must have the extension of view develop dev tools in install if you click on this one you have the users component going to has error inside this one you have a form which is an object if i come inside this one you have bio you have busy you have email everything so if i come down here is the name let me write something here if i say here john you can see it is going to reflect here so this is two-way model binding and view which means we can work along with this one so what else we need of course one more field for the email and instead of this one i will just write them as email yes type is going to be also an email if you write it as a text it is just fine what else we need to uh, it to be it should be a capital email email address and i will add uh, other fields too i will pause the video for that so this is what i have added we have an email we have the bio and the bio is going to be a text area just short bio for the user then we have a user type we have a select option here which you can select admin standard user or author and then we have a password field for the password that they have then you can create them so if i save it for now let's see how it is going to work if i come here refresh the page uh, okay we don't have any error it is good click on the new 
now you can see you have your name field you have everything you need your bio and user type from here and the email they have already published of course later i will show you how you can clean the form before you enter something and as i said this form is going to help you with that like you have clear you have reset you can fill you can use all of this stuff to clean up the form before you enter something let's say you clean the old data something like that so as you can see it looks very nice and clean in the next video we will learn how you can uh, insert data into database and how you will validate the data using laravel as a backend so i hope to it has been informative for you and thank you for watching see you in the next video